I have no idea how to get the plastic off this brush. Pretty sure it was not supposed to come off like that. But... Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Today's Thursday and it's almost 8 a.m. And I'm gonna do a workout this morning because I've been completely slacking this week. I really just like, I don't know why, I just have not been on my game this week for working out. I ran twice and that is literally it. And today's Thursday. I don't think I told you guys, but my gym that I finally got started back going to, like. I would say within the last four to six weeks, I was like on a routine going pretty regularly and it literally closed down. And it's a chain, but they filed chapter 11 bankruptcy. So my location closed down, but some of the other locations are still open, but it's so annoying. So I guess I am going back to just having to do workouts at home. So I did plan out a little workout on my phone this morning and I'm just gonna go out on the back deck and get my body moving. Here's today's workout fit. I'm just wearing my Gymshark leggings. These are like the ombre ones. I really like them. And then my Lululemon Energy sports bra. I haven't found a sports bra by Gymshark that I absolutely love and I've tried out several of their sports bras and I just really haven't found one that I like. So I just continue to pair it with my Lululemon bras. I'm gonna go ahead and type my workout on my computer really quick so I can bring it outside with me and have music. breakfast with raspberries and blueberries. Lots of people on Instagram are asking where I got my clear watch band, so I thought I would tell you guys. It's from Amazon. I will link it below. I'm obsessed with this. I just love the clear, and it also is like super protective for your watch. And then the clasp is rose gold, so it matches my watch. Out of the shower now, obviously, and I wanna show you guys how I make this really delicious coffee concoction that I came up with yesterday. It's so freaking good. So you know I'm like all about the Nespresso now. Uh, so the pods that I've been using are these Altiso um, espresso pods. They're like one level below the strongest espresso pod. Before I start brewing it, I'm gonna take a teaspoon of sugar and put that in there so that it melts. And then while that's going, I will get the Arrochino ready. And I didn't vlog yesterday, but Chad did get it for me as a birthday gift. And he gave it to me yesterday, which was so exciting because this thing makes it the most amazing foam ever. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of almond milk in. And then I like to add a little bit of half and half because this makes it really like fluffy. Then I'm gonna put this over here, press the button and it'll be ready in a few seconds. Look at this foamy masterpiece. And the coolest thing I found out about the Arrochino yesterday is that you can also create cold foam. So if you wanna make espresso or latte iced and do like cold foam on top like they do at Starbucks, this also does that, which I think is so cool. 
This is really difficult to do with one hand, but now I'm just scooping out the foam to add on top. This reminds me of the days when I was a barista. Absolutely beautiful. Cheers. It's life-changing. I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Pro Prep. I know a lot of you guys are college students and so many of you talk about how much you miss my college content and I just feel like this sponsorship was perfect for my audience. I really think you guys are gonna to love to hear about Pro Prep and I just think it's gonna specifically benefit you. If you're someone who's studying anything STEM, which I know a lot of you guys are, Pro Prep offers bite-sized video tutorials, online textbooks, and practice questions. And all of these have step-by-step -step solutions that are specific specifically customized to your syllabus. When you go on their website, you can specifically look up the course that you're taking at the university that you go to so you know the information you're getting is tied directly to the class that you're in. Being any kind of STEM major is difficult, but having a resource like Pro Prep is such a helpful tool. They're all about helping students achieve more so you can go further with your learning. And we all know that we learn better when we have better resources. With many of your classes being online right now, Pro Prep is probably just what you need. And Pro Prep is offering you guys two weeks completely free. You do not have to have your credit card. All you have to do is use your email address and sign up. So if you want to check it out and enhance your learning, be sure to go to the link in the description. And thank you so much Pro Prep for sponsoring today's video. So a little bit later and I am now at the nail salon. I'm about to go in and get my nails. I told you guys on Instagram that I broke one of my long acrylic nails from the last time I got them done. And underneath my nail looked so horrible. Like I'm not even going to describe it. It was bad. So I decided I would give my nails a break and I got all of my acrylics removed and I just had a dip and I miss my long nails. And this weekend is like my birthday weekend, my pre-birthday weekend, we're celebrating birthdays anyway. And I just really wanna have long nails again. So I'm getting them done. I don't care that it's only been like a week. better than ever I decided to go with this really pretty matte like brownish purple color and I just think it's so perfect for fall and I just got acrylics with gel polish because obviously my nails could never be this long outside of Sephora without makeup on and I don't know what the COVID regulations are but I have been dying to try Selena Gomez's new makeup line Rare Beauty and I just want to try like the skincare portion of it so I'm just going to get like foundation concealer maybe a primer I really hope they're going to be able to help color match me that's why I didn't put anything on my face except for a little bit of concealer under my eyes but like this is all just bare skin so that way they can hopefully match me but I know a few months ago when I was in there they were weren't doing that because of COVID um, but hopefully someone can help me even if they can't like actually put the makeup on my face maybe they can just like give me an idea of what shade I should get so wish me luck Guys, I am so excited. I just went freaking crazy in there. I will show you guys when I get home. I got the foundation, the concealer, the matching brushes, and then I also got the liquid blush because I've heard really good things about it. And I am so pumped to try it when I get home. But I am gonna run into Bath and Body Works really quick because my sister's birthday is this weekend as well. And I wanna pick up something for her birthday. And I think they're having a deal on hand soaps today. So it's perfect. show you guys what I got from Bath and Body Works. All of their body washes were $4.95 today. So I just basically stocked up. I got one of these for myself and one for my sister. Champagne Toast is one of my absolute favorite scents in both the candle and body wash. And then I had a coupon for a hand cream. So I got my sister the Champagne Toast hand cream just to go with the body wash as part of her birthday gift. And then I just picked up a ton of body washes so I could just stock up while they're on sale. And I got all of the aromatherapy ones because I feel like these are not normally part of sales, but they were today. So I got Sunrise Yoga, Zen Garden, The Energy, and Sleep with Black Chamomile. 
This one looks like a new one. It looks really, really cool. So I'm excited to try that. Okay, now we're gonna do my little mini Rare Beauty haul. Okay, so the first thing that I got was the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation and then the matching Liquid Touch Weightless Concealer to go with it. I was a little unsure of how they were going to color match me because they're not allowed to touch our faces, but she did let me pull my mask up a little so that around where my chin and cheek is, I could kind of color match. So basically, they just took a little disposable like Q-tip applicator and they got the foundation and handed it to me so that I could test it on myself. And the girl who helped me was so sweet and we both agreed this color matched the best, so I went with that. It's like a warm neutral color, which I think is just like spot on for my skin color. And I wasn't gonna get the brushes, but she sold me on these brushes. She told me that they're really good and I did hear good reviews about them. It's just that I'm like so a beauty blender person and every time I try to use brushes, I end up having to go over it with a beauty blender. But she said that with these brushes, they really are meant to complement the foundation and I shouldn't need a beauty blender. So I got the Liquid Touch foundation brush and then I also got the Liquid Touch concealer brush. So I'll let you guys know what I think about those. And then I I was about to just go ahead and buy the liquid blush but then I saw that they had this little duo so it is a miniature version so I'm super excited I found this because I ended up getting the lipstick and the liquid blush. So I just put my hair up in a bun and I'm gonna do a little first impressions of the foundation. I'll let you guys know kind of like what I think. I love the way the packaging looks, the frosted glass and like the nude colored top. And this ball top looks really cool, but it actually is meant for people with arthritis. And Selena Gomez specifically designed it this way so that it would be easy for them to open. The brush is really pretty and sleek too. I'm gonna just apply a little bit because I really want this to be an everyday like light foundation and not something that's gonna be super, super like heavy. It's very, very liquidy, which I think is gonna make it really easy to blend. How to grab my mirror, because I can't see anything. It's such a smooth, like silky finish. Really, really like how it feels on the skin. Definitely feels very weightless, which I think was one of like the selling points to this foundation is that it's supposed to feel like your skin. Okay, so here's what my skin looks like with just a very light layer. I did not do a ton at all. And I think it gives really good coverage. I don't have a whole lot to cover up other than a little bit of redness and discoloration. Occasionally I'll get a breakout like down here, usually just around my period. But I just realized I forgot to tell you guys which shade I got. So if you're in my skin tone family, you might wanna know. So this is the shade that I went with. It's 210 Neutral. And now I'm gonna try out the matching concealer, which is also in 210 Neutral. I forgot to open up the concealer brush and I don't want this to sit on my face for too long without blending it. Okay, the way that these brushes are like packaged with this plastic is a little bit much for me, but. Okay, so concealer brush looks exactly like the foundation brush, just tinier. I really like how soft it is and the shape is pretty nice too. Oh my gosh. I feel like the girl in Sephora was actually right. Like I feel like I don't need my beauty blender. I think this does a really nice job of blending it out. Like I don't see a bunch of brush strokes or anything. Maybe if I was doing like a thicker application I would, but I think since I was just doing like a really small amount, I don't think I need the beauty blender. It looks pretty good. So this is all that I have on my face right now. And then I did just put some Sephora brow gel on my eyebrows before I left this morning, but that's literally all that I did. So I could totally just wear this for the day and do nothing with my eyes and be 100% satisfied because I feel like it just gives you that like dewy glow, almost like a no makeup makeup look. The last thing I'm gonna try is this liquid blush. So a little goes a long way according to what the girl in Sephora told me. So I'm just gonna do like two little dots, I guess. And this is where I will go ahead and use my beauty blender because I have to like, tap this to kind of blend it in. I am such a huge fan of how this looks. It's like really natural looking, which I think is so nice. It's also really easy to blend, which I feel like is good for me because I'm not a makeup expert. 
First impressions are that it is a very liquid foundation, like super, I don't want to say runny because that sounds like a bad connotation, but it's not nearly as thick as my Estee Lauder Double Wear, but I kind of like that because it definitely blends a lot easier. It feels like there's nothing on my skin at all. I think it looks really good. It's a very natural dewy finish not like over the top or anything. I feel like this just looks like my skin right now. 10 out of 10 on the first impression. I'll see how it wears throughout the day. I ate some leftovers for dinner and I've literally just been on my phone scrolling Twitter for like probably an hour now. <laughs> anything else that I had planned on getting done today is just not gonna happen because I don't know where the time went, but I came home and I was editing a vlog that's gonna go up tomorrow and then the next thing you know, it was time to eat dinner, <laughs> and uh, now it is 8 o'clock. That can't be comfortable. He was like hanging off the bed. I'm going to make myself a chamomile tea and just go lay down and chill and read a book and probably go to bed early tonight. Got my tea, and here's my new book. I've only read like two pages of this so far. Um, but it has really good reviews online and it's a spooky Stephen King book. So probably shouldn't be reading this on a night when Chad's not here, but we're just going to go for it. So I am going to end this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.